Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am doing a new purchases video and this is actually gonna be split into two parts. So today is gonna to be the higher end market items and then I'm gonna do a video with the lower end market items. So we're gonna make a start and we're gonna see what I got. Okay, so we are starting off with this base two pack. Um, now you might be wondering why I've just bought one little lonely base two pack on its own. And this is actually going to be part of a special video that I'm doing when I hit 10K on the channel. Um, I'll explain a little bit about that in a second. So yeah, here it is up close. I'm sure you've all seen a base two pack before. Um, and this is how I store my um, loose packs as well. Um, I've mentioned it before on the channel, but again, just so I'd show you. So I've got the semi rigid in there and I've got it in a slab sleeve. So when I hit 10K, um, I will quickly go back to my other view because I'll show you a little teaser. When I hit 10K on the channel, these packs down here are also going to be part of that video. So some of you might be able to guess what that video is. But yeah, hopefully one day when I hit 10K, fingers crossed, um, I'm planning for it. That's gonna happen um, and I'll explain a little bit more when I get closer to that point. So that is my first new purchase. Um, from I'd say over the past month or so. Next we are moving on to the booster boxes that I've bought. So I've bought three booster boxes recently and we're gonna start off with the Boundaries Cross. So again, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this but we'll take a little look at the box up close in very, very nice condition here. I have posted this on my Instagram already and then we'll take a quick look at the back. Um, so at the moment, I'm planning to keep the booster boxes that I've purchased sealed, um, but if enough of you would like box breaks on the sets that I've bought, I'm open to doing that as well. So do let me know in the comments what you think of the sets um, that I've bought for the booster boxes. Um, would you be interested if I did a box break? So. In Boundaries Crossed, we've got the um, black and white Chiram, are probably some of the cards that are notable that I really like. But yeah, let me know what your favorite cards from Boundaries Crossed would be. So there is booster box number one. So these are obviously not Watsy, they're a little bit um, newer. They're kind of like the mid-range sets. Okay, moving on, we have Furious Fist. So this is XY. Again, we'll have a little look at the box all the way round. I do love these booster boxes, they're so colorful. And we'll take a look at the back as well. So, Furious Fist, if I had to pick, um, probably Lucario and Dragonite um, would be some of my favorite cards. Again, in the comments, let me know what your favorite cards from Furious Fists are. And have you opened any of these sets recently? That goes for Boundaries Cross and the next booster box I'm about to show you as well. Um, I'd love to know. So yeah, like I said, planning on keeping them sealed at the moment, but possibly open to doing box breaks on them. Um, so do let me know if you see any and you think, yeah, I'd definitely like to see her open that. Okay, booster box number three. We have got Platinum Supreme Victors. Um, I love this set. So let's take a look. So we've got the Rayquaza and the Charizard there on the actual box itself. Again, love the artwork on these boxes. We'll take a look at the back. Um, so Supreme Victors has some great cards. So we've got the three birds and um, the secret rares. So you've got Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno. I've actually posted them on my Instagram before. So go and take a look um, if you haven't seen them. Obviously got the Charizard as well, another really, really fun set. Again, staying sealed, but if you'd like to see this open, I'd probably be really excited to open this just for the hope of pulling one of those three birds. Um, they're such nice cards. So yeah, those are the three booster boxes that I've bought. So we've got one platinum, one XY, and one black and white. So in the comments, let me know what you think of these sets. Are these sets that you would buy if you had the chance? Do you like them? What are your favorite cards? As always, you know, I'm always excited to know your guys' opinions. Okay, and then we are moving on to some raw cards that I've bought. Now, again, a lot of you will know what these are. So we have got the Mario Pikachu and the Luigi Pikachu cards. So if you've followed this channel for a little while now, you will know that I actually opened up a Mario Pikachu box, a sealed box, um, opened it up on the channel, took the raw cards out, showed you sort of what you got in the box, and I actually sent those cards off to PSA. So the ones that I sent off to PSA, you will have seen in my recent returns video if you've watched it, and my full art got a PSA. PSA 10, which was incredible, and my half art got a PSA 9. Um, 
so here I have bought them again, but I've bought them this time with the Luigi Pikachus. So I'm gonna show you, the boxes weren't actually sealed, but um, here we go. I'm just gonna show you the empty boxes just so you can see what they look like. And obviously they just open up like this. But if you actually wanna see a sealed box be opened, do check out my earlier video of the um, Mario Pikachu opening. And then there we go. So these boxes actually sit on my um, display and you can probably see that one behind me. So that's the one that I actually, uh, there we go. That's the one that I actually opened earlier in the year. So let's take a look at these cards up close. So there we go. I love these cards. They are so pretty, especially when the light hits them. They've got that sparkle all over. Take a quick look at the back there. So there we have the Luigi Pikachu. Obviously the full art. I'd probably say the full arts are my favorite. And then the Mario Pikachu. Again, I opened a Mario Pikachu box, like I said, and the full art that I sent off actually got a PSA 10, which I was super excited about. And then we have got the half art Mario Pikachu. So there is a few of the raw cards that I've also bought recently. And next up, we have got the Shining Legends ETB. So these are getting quite expensive now as they're a little bit harder to come by. I love Shining Legends. I actually do Shining Legends openings on my channel. We've had some incredible pulls. Um, obviously the Test Tube Mewtwo's made an appearance a few times, but yeah, I really love Shining Legends. This one is stay staying in my sealed collection um, for the time being. I do not plan on opening this ETB. Again, really, really love the design of this ETB actually. Um, it actually sits on my display most of the time. So you'll be able to see that in some of my videos and Instagram posts. And then also staying on the topic of Shining Legends, I have the pin boxes as well. Now, the reason I'm showing these pin boxes in the higher end video is because I actually have two cases of 24 um, of the pin boxes. Also, the packs, the individual packs of Shining Legends are quite expensive as well now. Um, so if there was a booster box worth of packs, that would also make this video just because of the, um, the price of them. So yeah, there is the Pikachu pin collection boxes. Again, I'll just show you all the way around, although I'm sure most of you, I love that little Pikachu pin, have seen these, we'll take a look at the back. So yeah, let me know what you think of Shining Legends. Um, like I said, I do quite a few Shining Legends breaks on the channel now, and they go really, really well. We get a lot of people involved, and some of the hits are crazy. Obviously, you've got the Rainbow cards, you've got the Test Tube Mewtwo, you've got the um, Mewtwo GX, Entei GX. Um, we've hit a lot of them now, um, so we're doing well, and we've got more Shining Legends coming up. So if you ever wanna get involved in the breaks, just head over to my website, which is um, in the description of all my videos, but www.pokechloe.com. I'll pop it on the screen now for you. So let's end there on Shining Legends. So that is my higher end um, purchases video. So these have all been purchased over the last month or so. Again, quite a few booster boxes this month, middle sort of ground, um, that middle era, we got platinum, black and white, XY. I'd probably, if I had to pick out of the three booster boxes, the one that I would be most excited to open would definitely be Supreme Victors. Um, I just think some of the hits in that are incredible. Also got the um, raw, couple of raw cards. Again, so I'm always buying different things whether it be sealed or raw um, also PSA slabs I buy but it just depends what comes up really so I will be doing a lower end market video so the items that I've purchased that are the lower end of the market so do keep your eyes out for that video because that will be coming later in the week if you haven't already please leave a like please subscribe please let me know also what you thought of the purchases today are they things that you would purchase yourself um, and again I will try and do these I'm trying to do this on a more regular basis now trying to do it at least once a month keeping you guys up to date what is coming into my collection so thank you very much for watching and I will see you all soon